non-vintage is the one which judge the, the quality of a Chapman house. Year in, year out, the message should be the same. We have to deliver a consistent statement year after year. We do not uh, declare a vintage every year because Champagne, as, as, um, as an area, is located at the extreme climatic limit. And the art in Champagne, especially for non-vintage, is to balance what you feel it needs to be balanced in terms of flavor, aromas and fragrance. So it's very useful and we are, I like to call the reservoir in the uh, spare wheel of quality. Uh, in global terms, to sum up the elaboration of that wine, a part of the reserve wine, we are blending uh, uh, wines from different type of grapes. The Pinot Noir bring, let's say, the, 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 the strengths, the uh, depth of character, uh, the finesse of the wine. The Chardonnay, the white skin grapes, bring the, the, the delicacy, the lightness, and the lift to the blend. And another type of grape varieties can only be found, can only be found in Champagne. It's called Pinot Meunier. And those Meunier grapes bring the vigor and the fruit character to the blend. So they are blending the grape varieties from 30 to 35 different villages. And additionally to that, we are incorporating reserve wine. So you may ask me how much each year. It depends what is needed. But if I'm talking about 20% of reserve wine, I'm right in the, in the average. And when that blend has been created, we bottle the wine with an addition of sugar, liqueur, sugar, and leaving yeast. And we stack the bottle of the cellars. And during that long aging period, the yeast will turn the added sugar into effervescence and increase slightly the alcoholic strength. And the result of that will be a deposit, which will still play a role to favor the complexity of the wine during the aging. But the bread non-vintage you are talking about will stay three years in our cellars for maturing, for acquiring its personality, and for reaching the best it can reach. A vintage wine will age longer. It's only at the end of this final phase that we think about extracting the deposit and uh, recorking the bottle and uh, getting it ready for the labeling. That's what it is. A Brut non-vintage is very versatile of champagne. You can have it as an aperitif. You can have it with food anytime, light food, appropriate food for champagne. And at the time you need champagne to mark a celebration, I feel Brut non-vintage is appropriate bottle of magnums, whatever you feel.